Hi guys and welcome to this week's vlog. It's all about how to make money through your photography. Some time ago I made this video and it still gets plenty of views on a daily basis so I thought it's about time that I made a follow-up. Before we jump into this tutorial, this video is sponsored by Squarespace. If you're looking to showcase your work online, click the link in the description to start your 14 day free trial. Before we get going, let me give you a bit of a backstory. A couple of weeks ago, uh, I'm meant to have traveled down to Wales to climb a mountain with seven other people. Yes, eight of us in total. We were going to wild camp, etc., etc. Massive storms blew in from wherever they blew in from. It's not really relevant. And basically the whole weekend was scuppered. So me and my friend Tony, we just set off and just trekked down for the weekend just to see if we could make the best of potentially what was due to be a very bad weekend. These are the results. So as you can see from the footage, um, things changed quite dramatically when we got there. I was blown away by the amount of water that was cascading through the canyons and through the rivers and on the lakes that um, I changed my tact ever so slightly. Well, first of all, I started off shooting panos. Well, I tell you what, let's cut to the chase. I've not actually made that video just yet, but let's just take 30 seconds out just to see roughly what I managed to capture um, before we start talking about how to make money. And then it, it, it'll all just make sense. It'll make sense. As you can see, those pictures are pretty nice, but that's not what this video is about. What this video is about, it's about taking pictures that sell to a wider audience. Let me very quickly explain. If you look at this picture here now, this picture is really nice. It's a place uh, called the Old Manor Store in the Isle of Skye, and it's, it's delightful. It's a gorgeous picture. Is it sellable? Well, yes, it's sellable, but the market it's sellable to will be quite minimal. In other words, anybody that might like the Isle of Skye, that might like Scotland, that might like mountainous regions, but more importantly, it will probably be sellable to somebody who has a backstory or an affinity with the old man of store. Maybe they've climbed there before, maybe they tried to take a picture and it didn't turn out as good or whatever, it doesn't really matter. But the fact is, that picture is sellable, but it's sellable to a very small market. So what's sellable to a much bigger market are abstract pictures. So this video, cutting straight to the chase, is all about taking abstract pictures. So in essence, and to summarize, this video is all about how to take pictures that sell. The pictures we're talking about selling today is abstract photography. If you've never played around or experimented with abstract photography, don't switch off. Take a look at the images that I took and the areas where I took them, and it might just spark something in you or it might get you excited about going out and giving abstract photography a try for yourself. And the reason why abstract pictures are so sellable is simply because they don't really, more often than not, have an affinity to anything. Let me explain. If you like F1 and you like Jensen Button, then you'll only buy a Jensen, or you'll only buy a picture of Jensen Button if you're a Jensen Button fan. But if you took abstract pictures of maybe cars, wheels, gear sticks, then that would appeal to 
an F1 fan, and not necessarily an F1 fan that just likes Jensen Button. So therefore, your audience will be much bigger. So the question is, what is abstract photography? Well, let's take the official line on it first of all. Let's head towards Wikipedia. In Wikipedia, it says, sometimes called non-objective, experimental or conceptual photography. An abstract photograph may isolate a fragment of a natural scene in order to remove its inherent context from the viewer. It may be purposely staged to create a seemingly unreal appearance from real objects or it may involve the use of color light shadow texture shape and or form to convey a feeling sensation or impression now the most important words really to draw from that because i don't want to get too technical about it but the word experimental i love that word experimental because that's brilliant color light shadow texture shape well Welcome to this video because this video has I would imagine all of that in abundance So I think the best thing for me to do right now is jump in or take you guys pull you guys into the PC Let's have a look at the images. I took and I'll Explain by definition what I feel will work what I feel is sellable and what I feel isn't I'm just going to throw these into Photoshop and show you what I would do with each individual picture in terms of lighting and how I would compose the image because even though we're talking about abstract work it's still very important that the images look well balanced before I do that I know that people's patience are very thin so let me just mock up what I consider to be a sellable product then if you like what i've done you can stick around and watch the rest of the video if you don't like it then you can move on elsewhere okay so let's very quickly let's select one two let's select three images i'm just going to throw these into photoshop and this is acr adobe camera raw exactly the same as lightroom so if you use lightroom don't worry about it i keep saying that in all my videos i don't know why i need to but i just do let's select my three images like I say, I'll dissect what I'm about to do and we'll come back and I'll show you the each, uh, I'll show you the individual pictures. But look, let me just show you how quick and easy this is. I've just chosen three pictures. Now what I'm going to do is let's give them a maximum width of 2000 pixels. Let's do that with each of them. Of course, I can do this in an automated fashion, but just so you guys can literally see what I'm doing. One, two, three. Now I'm going to create a new canvas. Let's look at 7,000 pixels by 3,500. Make sure resolution set to 300 and make sure where uh, the background color is white. Okay, let's take the first image and let's drop it onto our newly formed canvas. Throw that right in the middle. Let's take our second image and throw that onto the canvas as well. And that has movement from left to right. So I'm going to put or place this image on the left hand side. Remember, even though I'm creating what's called a triptych, three images, they still must mate. They still must look as if they belong to each other. And of course, the composition has to be correct as well. So that's one, two, three. Now let's just add a little bit of drop shadow on here. Touch a drop shadow that looks fine press and hold my alt button to duplicate the effect and that goes across all three so there you go that now is what i consider to be a sellable product but let's just let's flatten that let's give it a really really tacky frame you don't have to use a frame of course i'm just gonna run through this little action to create a, a frame at one time we used to create frames for everything that we produced of course we don't do that now it's a little bit old-fashioned but just so you can see the finished product so if i now go to full screen 
there so what we've got now is a well composed abstract picture that in my opinion is now a very sellable product a very sellable product of course i could titivate this i can make a couple of little amendments like up here to the right to, like up here for instance on the right hand side i don't like that that seems to that that's, doesn't sit well with me um i can convert the image to black and white so now all three images mate much better but of course you don't have to do black and white you can do color so there you go it's not all about triptychs it's just about abstract pictures that sell each one of these images individually can sell they all have their place in the market but certainly triptychs canvases and so on yeah definitely in my opinion definitely definitely so if creating artwork like this appeals to you then stick with the video if not uh i'll catch you on the next one Creating a Squarespace website, it's by far the easiest way to showcase yourself as a photographer online. Creating stunning websites is as simple as choosing a template and dragging and dropping your media. Stand out with a professional website, portfolio or online store. Okay, you've stuck with it. Brilliant. Now, let me just explain them. We're going to have a look at the images I've taken, and then I'll tell you what I like about them, what I don't like, what I believe is sellable, what I believe is probably not sellable. But more importantly, um, and I'm mentioning this again and again, abstract work is a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. If you can master it, then it's another string to your bow, and it's brilliant. Gorgeous. Right, let's have a quick look then. Let's open up the first image um just 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 delightful and if i hit my crop tool you can actually see there's the size of the image that i've taken with my crop portrait landscape orientation whatever you want the most important thing is to look around for something that tells a story something that's balanced i still stick with rules of thirds as you can see on my crop here i have a rule of thirds just on your crop tool in Photoshop or Lightroom right mouse click it show overlay and that brings up your rules of thirds and it makes life a lot easier so if I did that for instance now that's really really nice got the dark area coming down here the main focal point which is that there draws the viewer eye in and it's the top right hand side of the frame with all that water going on really really abstract I love it likewise i can probably come here and it's the same principles you see more of this here but that's off center now it's to the top left hand side it balances perfect and it's a gorgeous gorgeous shot i really really like that so that to me definitely works let's flick through i don't like that because i can see too much of the background this flick remember these are untouched they're not processed in photoshop and if you see an image like this for instance the chances are if we open it up in photoshop we're going to grab our crop tool remember square crop oblong crop portrait landscape it doesn't really matter i can look around for something that tells a tale so i'm looking at this point of interest here top third uh, okay works it might not work Let's have a look over here. Just that there, for instance. I think that works. Let's open that crop up. Can I include some of this up here? Let's go for a portrait orientation. Let's have a look at something like this. Will that work? Um, I'm not... Okay, it would work. I'm not really feeling it okay i've got enough nice shots i'm not gonna okay that works that works really nice if i drag that down here now we've got different layers going on i quite like that 
main focal point of interest is that there rules of thirds and actual fact that works out really nice i was just about to throw this image away but now it works so so well so in terms of an abstract shot that works really really well okay flick on okay that is gorgeous really really like that it's because remember we're talking layers we're talking simplicity or we're talking chaos and that is just chaotic but you would look at that and it's been taken correctly but you would look at it and try and figure out what it is is that is really really abstracty it's all subjective so you might like it you might not like it that's perfectly fine but that is just brilliant i honestly believe that this is a very sellable product i love the lines coming in here the light just shining off them remember there's no post processing done with this i love all the information the detail here and oh that just that sits with me so so well as does that maybe not as much that is gorgeous that is just brilliant so that's a tighter shot of that and that works so so well but let's look at that for instance as a triptych that would work with that with that so one two and three as a triptych would work so that that's a really nice landscape orientation triptych shot that would work let alone selling those individually let's very quickly flick through you can see i've played around with shutter speeds that's probably a sixth of a second right down to one second exposure and these work these work these definitely work the minute you shoot along the horizontal axis of an image then it definitely definitely works if i just open this up hit c for my crop tool and choose something like a 9 by 16 orientation and again that just works so so well and if i don't have an obvious point of interest i do here quite like this so let's let's move that a little bit tighter a little bit tighter up to there that sits bottom right hand side and let's give it a little bit of an accent light there okay just to pull the viewer's eye in and i think that works a treat really really works a treat that is gorgeous so that to me works very quickly let's flick through that works we know that works that is absolutely delightful that is really nice now we're back to the chaotic stage and i like the chaos the chaos on that is fantastic i love all of these that is probably one of my favorite shots believe it or not they work they work oh look at that i'm i'm getting excited from that that is look at that in actual fact i've looked at this already because that's the image that i took there let's get rid of that crop that's the image that i took that's a settings in camera and that itself works a treat just that itself works a treat bottom third rules of thirds there works really nice two by three orientation you can see there drop that down maybe a touch a smidgen yeah and that's what i've done originally there love it love it love it love it love it really 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 nice keep flicking through oh it's endless you could just do so much with it this is really nice as well because there wasn't any wind blowing despite the fact that the water was absolutely gushing there was no wind so therefore i managed to capture this plant perfectly still probably at a second exposure looking at that movement and in actual fact let me just check um that's a sixth of a second so a sixth of a second but that's fast enough shutter speed to to freeze the plant but still have movement in the water and that's a nice contrast between still and the movement of the water likewise for that as well got this gorgeous water moving the stillness of the rock the stillness there of the plant so by the time you've lightened that up by the time you've had a play around with that in photoshop that again i honestly believe is a very sellable product same as that one there that is just a, a mash i mean terrific in terms of the amount of water that was there it was really fascinating fascinating to see but um there was a lot of wash a lot of spray as you could probably see in the image so it's not very clear but not particularly brilliant 
but zooming in so you can see I was looking at this rock here but zooming in here perfect now I can sit that in the middle top left top right bottom left but you you understand what I mean and that oh look at that that is just delightful and that there will definitely appear on the back of somebody's office door or a bathroom for instance same as that there so that's it now i really love my abstract work but i did find that the abstract work in this particular instance was taken over from my original vlog the vlog that i originally set out to um, to film which was basically how moving water is affected by various shutter speeds within your camera i've still got that in the bag by the way so i'll still process that but yeah that's it abstract work sellable not sellable you might not be interested in selling uh, any images online or any images anywhere or printing for that matter it didn't really matter the fact is have a play it's every other location you go to you can apply uh, the abstract thought process and start taking pictures abstract pictures because you can find abstract work absolutely everywhere right that's it thank you very much indeed for watching this video and if you liked it well if you liked it just give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already a subscriber and hit that notification bell cheers